The 2018 Ford Mustang arrives with light engine revisions, cleaner and leaner styling, a new 10-speed automatic transmission and enough models and colors to satisfy any enthusiast's deepest desires. Place the outgoing car alongside the facelifted model and you'll notice the sharper headlights and bumper, as well as the reprofiled bonnet. Changes at the back include new C-shaped tail lamps, optional spoiler and black diffuser, while inside Ford has installed a set of new digital dials. UK specs are still to be confirmed, but in America there are 10 versions in all, 6 coupe fastbacks and 4 convertibles. With that you get a choice of 3 engine and 2 transmission choices, the familiar 2.3-liter EcoBoost, middling 5.0-liter V8 and range topping, but not for UK, Shelby GT. The entry-level US EcoBoost makes 306 bhp and 475 Nm of torque. But despite the outgoing UK car boasting a more potent 313 bhp, Ford says this will drop to 286 bhp for 2018. Up to now, Americans also got a V6 option, but this has been removed from the lineup, with the focus shifting to the more powerful V8 version. Again, US and UK cars differ when it comes to outright power and torque. British buyers see the venerable V8 boosted from 412 bhp to 443 bhp, but the US car tested here boasts a beefier 454 bhp and 570 newton meters. Like all new Mustangs, it is available with a 6-speed manual gearbox or the new 10-speed automatic transmission, which can be shifted manually with steering wheel mounted paddles. Frenzied enthusiasts like we will opt for the manual, which continues to feature a slick and positive linkage and easy clutch engagement. With all those horses pawing at the pavement, the V8 manual can be driven in almost any gear in any circumstance. There's enough power to bumble around at modest speeds in 5th or 6th, but leave it in 1st or 2nd and floor the accelerator and you'll quickly find yourself at motorway speeds. The new 10-speed auto works well, too, albeit with one curious quirk. At slow speeds with the shift lever and drive, the Mustang sometimes gets confused, hesitating then lurching when pulling away from junctions or traffic lights. It overcomes that if you mash the throttle, but it's not a particularly pleasant way to drive. The answer, Ford engineers say, is to drive it in sport mode. But in this setting it keeps the revs high, and with the engine constantly on the boil there are understandable fuel economy consequences. However, in our experience, that very same transmission in Ford's new, US only, aluminum body 2018 Expedition SUV shifts much more smoothly. We're told the Mustang's drive mode software will be specifically optimized for European roads when the car arrives in Q1 next year, however. In spite of the GT 0 to 60 miles per hour sprint at a hair shy of 4 seconds and a top speed of 155 miles per hour, the basic 2.3 liter EcoBoost is no slouch. We tried the revised 4 cylinder on the Californian launch, and it performed well. It's strange then that the V8 has proved so popular in Europe, especially when you consider the cheaper cars lower emissions and improved fuel economy. the twister roads, the EcoBoost is even more fun to drive, too. It's lighter front end delivers better cornering balance, and with even greater agility. Of course, on a road with long straights or faster, sweeping bends, you'd probably prefer the GT for its massive power.
In addition to its slicker profile, the 2018 Mustang comes with full suite of safety equipment, including lane keeping assist and a free collision system that can detect pedestrians. Other features include new LED headlights, a dozen wheel options, 11 colors, a customizable instrument cluster, and even an active valve performance exhaust system. A new good neighbor mode allows for quiet starts in the early hours, too. None of this comes cheap, of course. The GT is expected to cost around £38,500 in the UK, while adding the new auto gearbox should command a premium of £1,500 to £2,000. The EcoBoost will be cheaper, and, like before, convertibles will cost roughly £3,500 more like for like.